everybody, it's Macho Draco Goddess here just for a little tutorial of Super Smash Heroes. I'm totally not angry that I made a few mistakes earlier. I'm just gonna turn off all the guys. Okay, so here's a quick tutorial. In Super Smash Heroes, you basically kill people like Super Smash mobs. There are four different there's four types of classes that you start off with for free. One is the Bulg, as you can see I played the most. He's a fully melee class that has difficulty two. Difficulty means how hard they are to use. He basically uh, is the Hulk. Most of these characters are renamed for, you know, copyright purposes. The Hulk is basically mainly melee with these two attacks. You guys can read them yourself if you're gonna play. And then here's General Cluck. He's mainly range, uses a gun. Oh, by the way, there's, these question marks are hints. Anyways, these are the second ones, basically their secondary ability. This is their uh, smash or ultimate, whatever you want to call them. And this is their passive. So the passive is jumping, this one is summoning a thousand chickens, and this one's basically a cluster bomb. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, this is a shortened version. Anyways, the cake monster is mainly melee. He's basically, he basically smashes you in the head with this freaking rolling pin. His uh, special is just barfing out cakes at you. His, bleh, sorry. His smash is basically just barfing out a million cakes at you. And his passive is basically making a cake defense ball. Botman is what my friend James uses. Basically, he's a ranged character. Difficulty 1. He, throw, he throws 3 batterings in succession, which basically he spams. Ba Backlaw, he basically grapples onto something and throws bombs on the way in. Batmobile, you basically summon a Batmobile, fly around and kill people. And Backlide, you have a better jumping. Now, those are the first 4. Now, time for the viable ones. As you can see, I have Kakarot unlocked. Tin Man is mainly range. His, um, his regular... He has a gun that shoots lasers. That's basically all you need to know. His rocket punch is basically useless because I don't see people use it much. The homing missiles really hurt. This is one of the best ults in the game. The missiles will follow you around. James, get out of my intro. <laughs> <laughs> the missiles will... <laughs> God damn it. The missiles will basically follow you around until you die. And Overload, basically, it discharges lightning when you're double jumping. Cyromancer uses Frostbolt. Basically, right click to shoot a bolt of ice at enemies. Frost Breeze basically makes the uh, area around him cold, dealing damage. Ice Barrier basically reducing any damage taken and shortening the cooldown of Frostbolt. And Arctic Aura, which enemy standing is no constant around you, take more damage from your freezing abilities. I'll go over here since these are the same league. Marauder, basically Dark Sis. His real name is a mystery. <laughs> this costs 10,000. I should have probably went over how much they cost. God damn it. We'll go over that. Like, never. <laughs> Basic, he, his right click is basically shooting lightning at people. So basically, this is the actual... Uh, this is the Emperor Palatine. His... His passive is Grip, which grabs an enemy and pulls him towards you. Kind of like Force Choke, but not with that much damage. His his Smash ability, which I don't see people use much, causes half your your ability to consume half the amount of dark energy and reduces damage you take for half by 15 seconds. James, we can hear you. Get the heck out of my tutorial. You don't hear me. God damn it, James. Get out of my tutorial. <laughs> Marauder's lightning and high jump abilities have no cooldown but require dark energy to use. This is his passive. Spooderman, which James uses. It's, this is the hardest guy to use in the game. He has Spooder Kick, which, use a, which basically attacks people. Web Shot, which fires the web at people. Spooder Buddies, who make little spiders. And Spooder Mastery, climb walls. Wait, BRB for half a second. Actually, no. Okay, Kakarot oh, is movie. after a slight interruption. <clears throat> Anyways, son of a gun. He's back to what we were saying. Kakarot is the one I use, basically Goku. He, he has Key Blast by right click, and this is a very powerful fist. He is a hybrid, which means he does both range and melee. Kame Kame, Kame Do basically launches the accurate beam. If you know Dragon Ball Z, you know what these moves are. True Power is basically Super Saiyan, you go. You glow that you glow gold and then your abilities cost less you do more and teleport whenever you jump you use 40 energy to do a teleportation uh, That's really useful get out of my tutorial James. How many times have I had to tell you this? You just said you grow gold Do you are you rich? Oh my god get out of here James
<laughs> this is a tutorial and you're just ruining it. Anyways. Pug is basically melee that sucks. The only good thing about it is him is his uh, speed. I'm not even gonna bother with him. Hellfire, the bane of my existence, literally. He uses a deagle, which basically fires really strongly. He has a grenade that blows up stuff. He has a fl he smashes a flaming deagle that has double the ammo but and makes his bullets explosive, but runs out within 10 seconds or when all the ammo runs out. And bullseyes, whenever he lands 3 consecutive hits, um, he gets his grenade back, basically. Void Crawler, the second most exp expensive guy in the game. Melee costs 2 stars, costs 100,000, requires smash level 100. Void Slash, basically you teleport across, and if an enemy is in the way of you teleporting, you'll damage them. Teleboom, teleport a short distance in the direction you're aiming on a- wait, what? Oh yeah, they're both basically the same, but this one's slightly more- um, slightly more useful and slightly farther. Shadow Fury, you basically blind- bleh, You basically blind all your enemies, and then- I have a lot of interruptions in my house. Anyways, Shadow Fury basically blinds all enemies and teleports up to five times dealing damage to all the enemies. <laughs> well, all the enemies you're teleporting to. God damn it, Dad. Anyways, <laughs> shoot the most expensive and hardest to use characters. His lightning bolt basically shoot rapidly. Charge laser, you charge a long range beam that hurts. Oh my God, firing my laser. We don't even need. A Basically, you shoot a beam that's big, and you literally kill anyone you set your mind on. And ride the lightning. You press sneak, uh, hop on a lightning bolt in order to travel up to 50 blocks. Oh yeah, I didn't go over the <laughs> passive ability. This hitting an enemy with your melee attack grants you void energy and damaging your ability based on how much void energy you currently have. Blah blah blah. So that's a quick tutorial on Super Smash Mobs. I know this isn't the best tutorial, and I know I have a lot of interruption. <clears throat> Anyways. So I'll see you later if you ever want to watch one of my videos. Bye. Wait.